YouTube, I'm Crystal, crystalsewsandstuff.com. Welcome or welcome back to the channel where I share sewing pattern reviews and other fun sewing related content. So today I'm here to share with you the patterns that I'll be making for the BHM Pattern Designers Challenge for 2023. So if you didn't know, the BHM Pattern Designers Challenge is a really fun sewing challenge um, created by Natita of Sew Natural Dane. And she created this channel to go ahead and um, highlight some of the black pattern designers during Black History Month, which is February, uh, which is in the month of February here in the United States as well as in some other countries as well. So anyway, this is the um, fifth year anniversary of the challenge and I'm so happy that I'm a, an ambassador for the challenge again this year. And um, this year, that, uh, Natita is having a really fun uh, sewing event in Houston, Texas. So the live event is on fe Saturday, February 25th, 2023. And there's also a meetup um, the evening before on February 24th for those who are in town um, the day before the event starts. And at the live event, there's going to be some really fun classes. There are going to be so there are four classes that you can take during the um, event on Saturday, February 25th. There's a fabric flower class by Ann Nyo, as well as um, the necklace that makes a statement class by Monica Monyo Tete, as well as a natural and man-made textiles class by Beverly Gatterson. And finally, there's the power of color analysis class by Audrey Schlorholtz. Um, and so those are going to be some really fun classes and I'll be attending this year and I can't wait to meet some of you um, down at this really fun live event to celebrate the fifth year anniversary of BHM Pattern Designers. So the rules for tech participating in the challenge are that you must tag So Natural Dame on Instagram and use the hashtag BHM Pattern Designers in order for your entry to be counted and you must use a pattern from any black pattern designer and that includes indie patterns, big um, four or five patterns, um, however you want to call it these days, um, like your McCall's, Vogue, Simplicity, um, Butterick, and the Nomi patterns. Um, so any of those patterns that you um, find as well as pattern book patterns and in classes by black pattern designers, um, knitting patterns, crochet patterns, bag making patterns, quilting patterns, and vintage patterns. So you can go ahead and check out the So Natural Dane website to find out um, a few more patterns and then I also have a playlist where you can see some of the makes that I've made in years past. So and the final rule is that you um, must construct your item between February 1st and February 28th, 2023. So those are all the rules for the challenge and the winner for, there are some pri wonderful prizes for the prize packs for um, the challenge and the winners will be announced on March 6th. And the winners are chosen randomly from those who participate in the challenge and follow all of the rules, um, the guidelines for um, entry. And this year we have some amazing sponsors for the challenge. We have So Explicit Patterns, Bayron Handmade um, Knitting Patterns, Blue Cup Shop uh, Printing pe Printing um, Company, where they pr she prints out Laquana, prints out large scale patterns um, for you um, instead of so you don't have to tape up the smaller patterns. You can use your copy shop size and have them print them printed at Blue Cup Shop. We also have Sorority Wear. Stitch Buzz, Cosado Patterns, Thanks I Made Them Who Makes Amazing Pattern Weights, Nicole Elise Fabrics, Dovetails Fabrics and Patterns, um, Living the Ankara Life, Montoya Mayo Patterns, Soda Fit Patterns, Styles and Seams Patterns, Kenor Renee Fabrics, The Fold Line Sewing Patterns, Late, um, Late Janeiro um, Bag Patterns, you also have Mrs. H, So Much Fabric, Melanated Fabrics, Pigeon Wishes, Georgia Girl Stitches, Rebecca Page Patterns, The Woodlands Physical Therapy and Recovery, Zarius Creations, Isom Taylor, um, and as well as Love Notions Patterns. So there are some amazing sponsors that I think you should check out and I'll leave a link to the So Natural Dane website where you can um, find out more about all of these sponsors. 
So now let's get into what I'll be making for the challenge. I'll be making three items for the challenge. So the first thing that I'm going to be making is a really fun knit dress. And it is called the, the Linnell Dress by Soda Fit Patterns by A.D. Lynn. She has a wonderful, amazing YouTube channel here. And she gives a lot of detailed instructions on fit and... Um, pattern changes if you haven't checked out her channel you definitely should she has some great um ideas and you can learn so much from her techniques as well and then so i'm going to be making this beautiful linnell dress and this is a faux wrap dress designed for um, knit patterns and i really love the design i love that it's a short sleeve um, um kind of cap sleeves and then it's a uh, wrap surplice wrap front and then it is um a full skirt so it doesn't open in the front so i do like that because every now and again you know with wrap dresses you run that risk of giving everybody a little show but um with this is since this is a um full wrap dress um it's fully covered so you have your a normal skirt on the bottom so just a regular you know front and back skirt for the bottom so i really love that about this um dress and it's designed for um knit fabrics with um you have the I think 40% stretch and she has an amazing tutorial as well to go along with the pattern so the fabric that I'm going to be using for the Linnell dress is this beautiful ombre knit fabric designed by Natita of So Natural Dang and it's really really pretty and it is has a beautiful ombre effect so it goes from yellow to like um, a green and the aqua and then a dark um teal back to a light light teal back to the aqua back up to green and then back to yellow and then back to um light blue so there's so it's a pattern um and a nice little ombre effect So, that is the fabric that I'll be using for the Linnell. <laughs> so, that's the fabric that I'll be using for the Linnell dress, and I really love it. It is called, it's in a modern jersey um, uh, fabric that is pretty lightweight, but I think it'll be really nice for um, this wrap dress, a full wrap dress. So, I'm going to go ahead and play around with the colors because I was thinking at first to do um, a maxi dress or something like that, but... Since I'm short, I don't know if I'll get all of the colors in on my full body um, for my height. So I decided I would just go ahead and use a wrap dress so that I could kind of cut out the different colors and everything um, to um, so I can get all the colors in the dress. I want to be able to show off the different colors that are in the dress when I go ahead and make it up. So I want to make sure I can, you know, strategically cut out the colors. Um, in a way that will kind of still show the ombre effect, um, but I'll make sure I get everything in as much as I can for um, the pattern. So anyway, I'm looking forward to sewing up this Linnell dress. So it's available in sizes 6 to 28 for bus sizes, full bus sizes of 37 inches to 59 inches. So there's a really good uh, size range for the pattern. So I'm really looking forward to that. I'll probably do a size 6 or 8 for it and I think um that will look really cute in this really fun ombre fabric so the next thing that I'll be sewing for the 2023 BHM pattern designers challenge is the women's gathered tunic by Nikki Brooks for beauty du jour patterns and she has this really fun um long tunic pattern and I've shared this before in um different tops that you can make um, for the little red dress project and I'll leave a link to that video if you want to go ahead and check that out But this was one of the patterns that I really um, liked um, When I was thinking about what I was going to sew for that um, For the challenge, but you need a fabric with a little bit of sh with some two-way stretch in it And so I didn't have that at the t well, I had it, but I it wasn't in red So the fact that I'm going to be using is this really pretty yellow crepe that I um, picked up I 
I've had it for a long time. I'm not 100% sure where I picked this up. But um, I think maybe in New York, but I'm not sure. But I've had it for a while. And I've used it um, before in making the Galicia top um, pattern by Itch to Stitch Patterns. And I'll leave a link to that pattern as well. And this, um, I have a picture of it. I'll share it right here. So anyway, I have a lot of this fabric left over. And so I'm thinking this will look really cute because there is a little bit of stretch in this crepe and it's a really pretty yellow crepe and i think it would look really cute as this gathered tunic because in the picture she has on it looks like a crepe um fabric and i think this would look really cute um as in the women's tunic with the cute little gather on the side so i really like that and i think this would work well for that pattern so this pattern also has a really good size range it goes from a size small through a size double x large and so i think um this is good for a lot of people and i just really love this style and i can't wait to see how this pattern turns out in this pretty yellow fabric so the last thing that i plan to sew up for the bhm pattern designers challenge for 2023 is the august wrap vest by j desiree patterns and she's also known as so much jazz on instagram um and so anyway i'm gonna be sewing up this really cute uh wrap vest and i just think it's just so sleek and stylish when it came out i was like oh that is just so cute um and i could just add it as a pop of color or something or just um or to tone down too much color depending on what I'm wearing um, so I really love this vest um, pattern and it has a nice little side pocket so anyway the August wrap vest is an asymmetrical utilitarian style vest and it has fisheye darts in the front and the back to give you a more tailored fit and then it has um, ties at the front and then um, it has a really cute accordion pocket with flat detail so that is just, that's the description of the pattern and i just think this will look so cute to jazz up just a regular pair of jeans and a solid top and so the fabrics that i have some options i haven't completely decided what i want to make it with so the first fabric that i'm thinking about using is this pretty gold denim and i have um about a yard left of this over a little over a yard left um left over from the new look jumpsuit challenge that I did last year in January. And so I have some of this fabric left over and I think that would be really cute as um as for the August vest. And so I'm thinking about using that. I think it would look really nice. And I got this denim from LA Finch Fabrics. And um so I'm thinking about this fabric. And then I have this um pink kind of a it's like a pink stretch that sateen that I used to make a Vogue jacket a couple years ago and so i have some of this left over so i think that would be cute and it's pretty pink especially since we're going into the spring so i like that and then finally i have some denim that i've had in my stash for a while and i don't have a lot of it so and this is a non-stretch well i might have a little bit of stretch too it has a little bit of stretch to it but i have this denim that i'm thinking about using as well to um go with jeans but it's kind of a darker denim so i'm not sure anyway let me know what you think which um which fabric it would you, do you think it would look best as um for the wrap vest um the gold the pink or the denim so anyway just let me know in the description in the comment section which one you think will work best all right so those are the three things that i plan to make i hope to see some of you at the live event um in houston and i've never been to houston so i'm really excited about going and anyway i'm also looking to seeing everything that you make for the bhm pattern designers challenge and if you are going to participate go ahead and let me know what you plan to make i just love to know and until next time take care bye